before this episode begins, I just want to explain a few things. Number one, I withdraw my knockdown, forgetting the fact that it actually did die, because during the recording where it died, my game crashed, so basically I forgot to put it in the death box. So that knockdown is technically dead. I did replace it with something else in the next extra episode. And as you can tell from this episode as well, this is number two. Um, the mic quality is pretty bad. Reason being, I accidentally recorded with my internal laptop mic instead of my blue snowball mic. I forgot to set it to blue snowball instead of that. So the quality, my voice quality is going to be alright. It's pretty bad in my opinion though. So I apologize for that. I cannot fix it and go back and re-record it because I saved right after, literally right after I recorded I saved. So basically I have to stick with what I got. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So yeah, enjoy. What is going on fools? AJ Pay bringing you Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer Extra Episode number one. Yes, number one. I'll probably be uploading this every possible Saturday if I actually do have one. But this is after beating the Pokemon League, as you can tell, I still have everyone from the party, but technically, technically, Mr. Fluff, Mrs. Fluff, and SoFly Jr. are dead. So we're gonna deposit them in the PC box in a second here as we do see the TV going on. You may be wondering, what the hell am I gonna be doing for this episode? Well, for this episode, I'm gonna be doing Pokemon contests. Well, the nickname of Corey's. What? Hmm. The nickname is. If they find it, it's a greatness to come. <laughs> so nickname my Gorvis Cory after um Conrad Concarne. A Gorvis is a nickname that hits a greatness to come. There's greatness to come. I'm intrigued about what the future holds in store for this Pokemon. The, the, the nickname Cory is rooted by the letter O. The letter is supported by the first letter C, which gives it a solid sense of presence as a nickname. I must say that Cory is quite, quite a good nickname. I hope the trainer will continue to treat Cory with love. <laughs> that has to be the biggest lie ever. I'm never going to treat Cory, the Corvus, with love or Cory in general. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to start this episode! I did not even plan that! But anyways, so this is the after game part. I kind of just want to show this to people that actually never played the game too, even though probably most of the viewers that I do have played this game before. It's our dad! It's the dad that tweeted us badly and killed our first ever Soulfly person. Flygon, Vibrava. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. I'm the champion, you- <sighs> That's why you're not my dad. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came from someone named Mr. Briny. We received the SSN ticket. That's probably going to be extra episode number three. Because I don't really care for it. It might not even be an extra episode to be honest. I'm going to get back to Pedalburg Gym. Oh, he's leaving us already. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I was away. Why can't we live in Pedalburg with you? Oh my god. what a This is why... Professor Birch is the better dad of you. That dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in a while, but he all talks all he talks about is Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. I'm assuming relax you mean by having love time. Anyways, with you. Um, is that a breaking news story? Yes it is, so that's why we magically go over there. Blah 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 in the home region there has been reports of bzz, colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of these Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return to you to a regular movie program. Okay. JP, did you catch that? What color did the announcer say that Pokemon was? Now, if you choose red, then you will find Latias randomly in the area. But if you choose blue, you choose Latios. As a kid, I always liked Latias in the beginning. It looked more cute to me. It looked cool. But now I like Latios better mainly because of competitive reasons and the color and the coolness look of it in general. As we're going to go here and there's Professor Birch. And I love you, FA! What is up? Step dad! I mean, Dad! I mean, uh, I don't forget it. Well, well, JV, that was a good work out there. I knew there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. <gasps> oh no, it's me, Pagnet! I didn't beat- No, we didn't do- Oh yes, do you still have your- Okay, he avoided the topic. Do you have the Pokedex I gave you? Yeah, I do. I have something to show you. Let's go to my lab. Okay. Now, JP and May, I have- I've had the two of you help me study Pokemon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that in the Hoenn region, there are also Pokemon from other regions. Hint, hint, Diamond, Pearl, Sinnoh, hint, hint, Black and White, Inova, or Ishun region in Japanese version. It goes to show how rich and varied the na 
natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your Pokedex to the national mode. Here, let me see your Pokedex units. So he takes our Pokedex. National Dex is going to be very important, especially towards um, the Fire Red Dual Nuzlocke Randomers that I have with Cory, um, Comrade Concarne, because it actually does affect our game a lot, as you'll see later if you guys watch it. It's a great series, I promise you. Especially the definitely the next. Like the next coming episodes, because I believe I just uploaded six today, so around eight through eleven are gonna be really good. Trust me on that one. Okay, all done. Jeffy's Pokedex was upgraded to the national mode, but if you guys want to watch that series, a playlist will be down below of it. Please watch it. It's fun. <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, but listen, you've become the champion, but your Pokemon journey isn't over. Yeah, it's not. This is no end to the Pokemon road. That is somewhere there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Okay. Well, now we're free to do whatever we want. Um, how long did that take us? That took us five minutes exactly. Wow. Well, around five minutes exactly. All right. So now, technically, I do have a Pokemon to fly to where I need to go, but technically, I can't fly. So I actually have to travel to the next city to go to the PC. It. The hell's this? Hi, hi, JV. It's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS Title now. It feels great to be on the sea. By the way, there's this place that I'd like you to invite you for the visit. If you're interested. Board a ferry at either Slateport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet there. I'll be waiting. Ta -da. So Nuzlocke rules still apply. Just letting you guys know. So if anyone dies, then they, they're dead. So technically, my other three that died in the league are still dead. As there's a level 3 Suicune. Huh. Look at that. Old times. Guess what, Suicune? I believe you might have been the Pokemon that killed me before. So I'm going to kill you now. Oh, no, wait. I remember now. It was a Beedrill. Never mind. Sorry, Suicune. I did not mean to kill you. Oh, there goes one legendary. Anyways, um... Oh yeah, I can use space bar now, because we're not playing the fire red thing. Ha! <laughs> I love the space bar. Miss it. Anyways, I'm gonna go on the PC here. We're gonna actually do something somewhat important. It's gonna be important towards episode 2, which you guys will see probably next Saturday. Hopefully. But first, we're gonna put our... The people who died on Leaf 4 into the death box. A.K.A. Mr. Fluff. Well, actually, Mr. Fluff's gonna go here, because Mr. Fluff died. Bef after this person died, which is his lovely wife, Mrs. Fluff. But this is not the last you'll be seeing Mrs. Fluff. Spoilers. <laughs> if you know what that means. I hope you guys don't know what it means, because I kind of just spoiled something of a series of something sort. Well, not really, though, because while Mrs. Fluff does make an appearance, it doesn't mean that she'll be used in any shape where... I'll stop talking. Anyways, we're going to draw three Pokemon. Um, this is our death box. Remember, remember all these people before? Yeah, they all died. Some of them important, some of them not. We're going to go through that later. Sometime later, but not this episode, because I'm taking too long already. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take out a Tootsie, who has not died, so we can fly. We're also going to take out a Slugma and three some the Magneton. We, these three are definitely going to be used later towards something. I'm not going to tell you guys what. You'll see in the next episode. But yeah. Anyways, we're going to go to... I believe we're gonna go to Lily Cove. Yeah, Lily Cove. I'm gonna cut if I actually was not supposed to go to Lily Cove. But yeah, we're gonna go to Lily Cove just for the hell of it. Now, why are we going to Lily Cove? I don't know. Why are we going to Lily Cove? Well, because we're gonna do Pokemon contests this episode. Yay! So in order to take on this contest, we have to run some bears in. What's with this music? What the hell is happening? What? Where, why are these people staring at me? What? You, you guys are hating? You haters! They see me blending, they hating Throwing the umbers to mess up my blend up Trying to blend them berries, trying to blend them berries Trying to blend them berries, trying to blend them berries They're still hating, cause Matthew Is no longer ugly cause of my damn berries It's cause I blend them berries, it's cause I blend them berries It's cause I blend them berries, it's cause I blend them berries but in all seriousness, we're gonna mix berries. This is kind of how you mix berries first off. You talked, you probably want to go against these guys. I believe these guys you can make be better berries with. Actually, I think it's more difficult too. We're just gonna go to this old man and just done the berry by ourselves. But we want to, like in the rap, we're gonna enter Matthew in the beauty contest. We want Matthew's beauty to be up a lot. So we're gonna make some beauty berries. Now I'm gonna put some berry, the berry groups on the screen. To to show you guys what berry makes indigo slash blue berries so that way your beauty will go up 
Group A is obviously the best berry. Group B is the some of good berries, and then Group C is the worst berries you can use, but they still increase beauty. Now, if you really want a maximum amount of beauty, you want to use the Group A beauty berries, so the Pam Tree berries. I don't know where you get them, but you get them somewhere. But we're gonna be using some kelp sea berries because I have that. So we're gonna blend with this old man. Um, no, let's go through a tutorial. Explain this to me. It's quite simple. When the blender's arrow comes to your marker, just press the A button. That's all you have to do. You'll see how easy it is when you try. Let's get started then. Let's berry blender. Okay. So it's a game. Um, basically, as you can see, I'm gonna throw my berry in here. So I'm gonna throw my berry, he throws his berry in. I am on the top right, so you wanna press A whenever that marker is next to your marker. But every time you do, it'll go faster. If you get circles inside of circles, that means you did it perfect. But if you get a regular circle, then you didn't do it as perfect, but you still got it. And if you get an X, then you screw up. But it gets faster and it gets harder. So as you can see, I'm not getting the inside circle things anymore. I got it a few times. But the, the meter on the top is basically how many um, times. See, I'm getting distracted. Um, basically it's telling you how many t more um, rounds you have left. I'm getting, wow, I'm getting a lot of X's here. Wow, hello, hello, there we go. I'm, now I'm getting a hang of it. Because I'm concentrating a bit, but yeah. You don't want to rapidly press A like I did as a kid. You want to actually do this. So I got 11 perfects, 21 um, all rights, and then 9 X's. So that kind of sucks. That determines your level of berry as well. You have to be really good with it. So if you get a group A... If you have a group A berry and you do really, really well, you're most likely to get the maximum beauties. But if not, then yeah. And to go, the level is 23 and the field is 20, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're going to blend some more. So I'm just going to, I guess, off-screen blend a bit. But I'm going to be recording this technically for that wrap. So yeah. Anyways, be right back. Alright, so we finished blending. I guess we did. But now what we got to do is go to your Pokeflock case here. And we're going to feed him some indigos. So we're going to feed Matthew some indigos because he's going to be a beauty beast. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're probably not going to max amount his beauty because we're probably not going to win the maximum contest. And we also in increase his toughness as well. We don't exactly want that. That's why we kind of wanted group A because it just focuses on beauty itself. But that's fine. Whatever. Matthew can be tough and beautiful at the same time if he wants. We're basically just, you know, because he's ugly, but now he's getting more beautiful. This is also how you try to evolve free bass. You just want to max out its beauty. It doesn't matter what level it is. And then you just level it up once. It will evolve into a Milotic. Simple as that. But I think that changes like way later. But yeah. Anyways, I believe this is a gray block because I, I basically screwed up. And um, toughness. Oh, it has smarts in it too. That's weird. Okay, I guess Matthew's kind of smart too. But now Matthew's getting really beautiful. So we're going to feed him the final berry here. We're definitely going to win the first contest for sure now. And as you can see from the stars that are going around Matthew's sprite, that's how many times a thing can eat a berry. And he can probably only eat like another... Basically, he's eaten half of enough berries that he can. So he can only eat a certain amount. But once that reaches full circle, then you can't eat any more berries. But basically now, we're going to do some Pokemon contesting. Um, as you see, Matthew is built for beauty. Well, in a second, he'll be more built for beauty. Because I'm actually going to get rid of a move in Matthew's move pool, which I'm not, which I don't really use anymore. I'm not going to catch any more Pokemon, nor am I really going to, like, um, need to use the move anymore. It's kind of useless, but I might as well just replace it for a contest for now and then replace it for something that Matthew will be able to use later. And that move that I'm going to delete is going to be Yawn, because as you can see, I have two beauty moves. These two moves are going to be good, but... You want to have at least three beauty moves. Four would be great. You'd have a great strategy. But I'm going to have Water Pulse because it's another beauty move. I'm going to get rid of Yawn because I don't use it too much. So we're just going to do that. And we have forgotten wa Yawn. And he's the Water Pulse. So Matthew's gotten less lazy. He doesn't Yawn anymore. But anyways, we're going to talk to this lady. We're going to enter a Pokemon contest now. Um, we're going to enter the normal rank because we can't enter the other ones yet. We're going to enter the beauty contest. The beauty pageant for Matthew because Matthew's a beauty. Anyways, we're going to do that. Okay, your Pokemon will enter this contest. Your Pokemon is entry number four, which it will always be. And she will basically just show you your way to the contest. So, Matthew, hopefully you will out-beauty all the other p Pokemon in this. So, the first um, thing in the beauty contest is going to be the appeal round. Basically, it's going to follow your stats of your Pokemon's, like, whatever, beauty and stuff. And then how many hearts you get is how many points. We'll probably get a lot because Matthew's beauty is pretty much almost max because Matthew is beautiful now. I can't believe I'm saying that. He's not really, but as you can tell, um, so far that Poliwag is winning, and that Crobat's definitely not beautiful. <laughs> it only got two hearts. 
And now I'm going to throw out Matthew. He's going to sparkle and shine. And we're going to see all the hearts go around. Look at that. Damn, Matthew. You so filthy. So beautiful. Just kidding. And now it's time for the primary judging. Da -da -da. This is where we use our moves and stuff. Voting underway. I don't, not yet, I guess. They're voting on who is most beautiful. In terms of appeal. So now we're going to move to the second stage. Where it's going to be us using moves. Now each move does a different thing. As you'll see here. As I got ranked first. See, the ranking from here, whoever goes first and stuff, is from basically whoever got the most points of the first round, and which was me, obviously. Well, Matthew, because Matthew's beautiful. Now, in this contest, you want to use the type of move that this contest is. So, except for I'm in a beauty pageant, you want to use beauty. You'll get extra points. You cannot use the, if you use the same moves like two in a row, you'll lose points. So you want to use different ones. And also, each move does a different thing. For example, Surf. Surf is affected by hell while the appeal in front goes. So we don't want to do that because that's not going to really help us because we're the only... No one's in front of us. Um, ice Beam startles Pokemon that made the same type appeal. So if someone uses Ice or I believe Beauty, I forgot which one, they'll get startled and lose, possibly lose some points. That's what the Black Hearts mean. The Red Hearts mean how many points you get. And then you have Water Pulse. It will scramble the order for the next turn. So our best bet is to go for Water Pulse because I don't want to be first next turn. And no other move will really help me. So I'm going to go for the Water Pulse. And get some three hearts. I scramble the order for the next turn. That's what that question mark means. And then our beauty went over greatly. So we gained an extra heart. So not bad. So he's going to go into his Poliwag. He goes for a Brand Dance. I believe that's not actually beauty. That's like um, tough or something. It went slightly well, and he is looking at the Tim. So basically, he's setting up for his next um, beauty thing. That will give him extra points if he uses another beauty move. As this butterfly is going to go for a silver wind. Um, conditions rose above the usual. I... Oh yeah. So it, this thing basically won't get jammed or frustrated or anything. He won't lose points from other moves, most likely. That's what that means. As this person goes for a haze as it taunt it only startled him for some reason but um it, he did not get startled because of the silver win he did earlier so it's good that i actually did that and i tied for the most points for this round and i caught a little tension but the order usually whoever has the most um hearts for the round will be going first but since i use water pulse i scrambled the order so that won't happen so as you see here i'm gonna be going perfect third i'd rather have third or last at this turn um i'm gonna go for surf because i'm thinking um possibly one of these two are gonna do really good well whoever's ahead of me i think it's gonna be doing really good can't believe it's to the other so therefore it won't be affected by everyone else's moves so that's good that he does that because i'm not even doing anything that'll affect other moves he's gonna go for a mean look is that really beauty and oh joy now i might not even do anything that's cool oh, i was unaffected cool and he was unaffected as well so the move did not work out for him too well however the judge is looking at him well so the next time he does a beauty move the crowd may go over greatly and may earn a lot of extra points like as you saw right there so i'm gonna go for a surf i think i'm gonna do pretty well because i'm gonna get three basically because of what just happened in front of me and then the judge is gonna look at me as well and i got the crowd going because <laughs> the crowd was already going beforehand so if you so basically, if someone gets the crowd going at first turn, and then the next person gets the crowd going, and then you get the crowd even more going, then you will gain more points than the others, if that makes sense of what I was saying. As this guy just earned a ton bunch of points, as many as I have, but I earned points before him too, so I am doing pretty well. Alright, so, I'm first again. This is not good. By strategy, I don't have a move that really works well when you're first. Um... I'm going to actually go for Ice Beam, hoping someone will go for the same type of move. So let's just go ahead and do that. I go for Ice Beam. Uh, let's see how well this is going to do. It tried to start over the other Pokemon, but it messed up. So, yeah. That's probably because that only works when I'm below. So stupid me on my part. Only use Ice Beam when you're not in first. When you're in like third or fourth. But yeah, he's going for the same strategy again as usual. This Poliwag, I believe, is probably my main opponent for this thing. Well, never mind, because it went for a toughest move. Forget it! Forget what I said. Well, I think I still think it is, because it had the same amount of stuff and yada yada. As he's going to go for a Haze. It taunted the other Pokemon that were doing well, but we ignored them. So, 
you know, it didn't go over too well for him as he earns extra point. How long is this episode going for? Damn. <laughs> Damn, 26 minutes. I have to cut a whole bunch of stuff out. He's going to go for a Silver Wind. And he gets that star thing again. So these people are basically doing the same moves. I've done three different moves already. But hopefully now I won't be first. Please tell me. I'll probably still first, huh? Yeah. Dang it. Okay. Well. What I could do. I could. Um, let's just go for the surf. <laughs> I should have definitely went for Water Pulse the first turn before, but you know, it's honestly whatever. As I do catch his attention, looked at me expectedly, sure. And I went over great. Okay, so I didn't finish well, but you know, we're just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna speed the rest of this part up, really, because I don't think it really matters too much. And holy crap, this thing is gonna get a lot of. Oh my god! That probably like, may, that may have just won him the game. As long as. I did exceptionally well in the first round against this guy then I would have beat him but yeah oh god okay well third okay whatever oh there's another turn we have another turn all right cool all right I should have definitely went for water pulse that turn too <laughs> um we're gonna go for ice beam we're gonna startle these people I did not know there was another round I thought that was the last round came oblivious to other people that's Damn it, so my ice beam's not gonna work too well against this guy. But that's not who I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for this polywag. This polywag's a big threat to my team. <laughs> well, a big threat to Matthew, because Matthew's the most beautiful. What? He used ice beam? Well, I'm using ice beam too, so I'm gonna start with him even more. <laughs> Let's go! I made the right move this time. I wanna see what happens here. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the ice beam. It's gonna start with both of them. Butterfree's gonna ignore that, most likely. And then this Polyrag is going to lose points because he had the leaping up. Ah, negative one point. Let's go. That man just sealed my win right there. Because this this was really just my win technically. As he just started one person. Cool. But of course Butterfree couldn't get started because it was a silver win. And uh, um, yeah, I basically almost tied that Polyrag for this round. And I believe this round is over. Yes, good. Alright, now we're gonna go to the final round. I mean, the final judging. So we'll see who wins now by like a bar race thing, as you'll see in a second here. Stop talking, people. Alright, so we'll see it here. So now seeing the results. The preliminary round results, as you can see, I did exceptionally well. So that definitely helps me out. But then we're gonna go to round two. Polyrag's definitely gonna earn a lot of points. However, I'm gonna be the winner because my bar is filled. So. First place barely goes to Matthew, MYC, the most beautiful person in this contest, the most beautiful slow king in the world, MYC, Matthew, let's get it, Matthew, yeah, except our prize, Matthew is going to earn a ribbon, so that's how beauty contests go, Matthew is a beautiful person, I highly doubt Matthew would be watching this, so, because he doesn't watch my videos anymore, so I'm glad he's not. If he is, he, he should make a comment below or tell me, but I bet you he's not. As there's a interviewer person waiting here, but we're not going to talk to him because we're going to end this episode off because it's too long. So next time on Pokemon Emerald, Nuzlocke Randomizer Extra, we're going to be doing something serious this time that may involve death. So I'll see you guys then next week. Bye!